today on the Roy Garage. It's working. We wire up our electric fuel pump. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Roy Garage. Today we've got our electronics to wire up our electric fuel pump. We've got a relay, hardware, breaker for safety. We've got our switch, some extra wire just in case. Before we get to this though, we do have to permanently install our electric fuel pump that we tested last week. You wanna watch that video, it's up here. Let's go get started. All right, we've got our fuel pump here. Ideally, you put a fuel pump 12 inches away from the fuel tank um, and lower than the fuel tank, angled on a specific angle as well. Uh, we are doing some field testing here and this engine and system isn't gonna be in this El Camino forever. Uh, so we're going to mount it here kind of where we can do it conveniently, see how long it lasts. And as soon as this fuel pump goes out, we're putting a 5.3 liter Vortec in it. Can I do that, Jake? You let me? Yeah. Tip Tuesday, doing the good old stair step. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, that didn't work as planned. And we currently don't have a tap and die. So we're just gonna change where we're gonna mount it. Now we're going to mount it to this uh, plastic over here, just so we can get on to the next step. There it is. I'm throwing on the nut side. Just set it up. Yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. If you like watching our videos, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. We've got our fuel pump installed permanently. Now it's time to mount the relay as well as the breaker. Uh, we're mounting the breaker and we are going to mount it right in here. That's on there tight. There we go. For the back. Oh, we don't need that. Jesus. <laughs> Who knows that? This is my car. I don't want it to blow up. Black one's ground. This one's going to get connected right here. Ground done. Circuit the red one goes to the circuit breaker and then to the battery. Oh, This side of the breaker to the battery, and this wire just so happens to go to the positive side of the battery. Breaker wire, what's up next? Purple wire to pump. And the blue one. Good to go. Nice. Attaching the ground on the fuel pump. Ah. 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's alright. There we go. Look at that. Now we just have the switch to do left. <laughs> Give me a smaller bit, please. Uh Now we're working on getting the switch mounted in the cab, so that way we can route the wires. Just gotta get it around some stuff. the wire through there so now we're just gonna send it through the firewall connect everything together call it a day cool wire it up out there and then wire it up in here For the switch, See if it works. Action. And action. <laughs> oh, and now you just flip it? Yeah. Don't what? Oh she's turn it off. Yeah, turn what do you off. turn it off? Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of the Roy Garage. We had Jordan Hutzler test out that fuel pump for us and it is working. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss out on what we do next week. <laughs> oh I just pushed the button. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. That's the fuel pump. What? It's an electric fuel pump. Yeah. That's not standard in a 1980 Alpha <laughs> 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 I'm aware. But why do we have a switch for it? Good point. Good point. I was expecting like some back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that far. Alright, alright. This is nice. I think so too. You could sleep in this. <laughs> I, I do occasionally need places to sleep. This this is, there's so much <laughs> there's so much room in here. Like do you not it feel is, comfy? It is great. I've slept in a truck before and It's not, it's not a truck. <laughs> no, I, I understand. I've slept in a truck before and this is an improvement. Uh, I think it's a, I think <laughs> it's a car. Is it a car? <laughs> or is it a truck? <laughs> is it a car or is it a truck? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs>